Easter Sunday is traditionally one of the most well attended services at any church. But now, just two days before the holiday, churches, many of them, are struggling. It's been almost three weeks uh, since coronavirus concerns squashed most in person services. Consumer expert Amy Davis back with us live with how the pandemic is impacting churches and charities that rely on donations. Amy? Yeah, I mean, Owen, as you might imagine, it's tough. I mean, bill churches still have the same bills and people to pay, employees there at the church, but with no people in those pews, there's definitely less money going into offering plates. I don't know about you, but this truly has been what I would call a challenging Instead of filing in to the Word of God Christian Fellowship Church in Cyprus, Pastor Eric Hoskin is asking his 600 members to log on. It, it really rocked uh, our ministry and for that matter all ministries. Instead of handshakes and hugs, it's all streaming and social distancing. And what you can't do so far apart is pass the offering plate. They were just used to writing checks and, and putting that check or putting cash in the envelope as the collection plate went by. Hoskin said even though parishioners can tithe by text or give online. Some don't know how. Others have lost their jobs and simply can't. We can definitely historically see uh, just taking uh, March uh, this time last year, we've seen about a 20% uh, reduction in, in tithes and offer. It's a double-edged sword for us because we have seen an increase in our expenses at the same time as we've had a decrease in our donations. But charities like the Women's Home that helps homeless women and families with substance abuse and mental health issues can't just close. They're housing more than 200 women and families on two separate campuses. The Cottage Shop, a thrift store that brings in more than $50,000 a month to help support the charity, is closed. Even though we don't really know where the money's coming from, we as an organization have decided that we have to do the right thing. We have to keep our employees employed as long as possible and we have to start increasing services even if we don't know where the money's coming from because it's the right thing to do. Well, there are ways that you can help that charity, that church, or your own. Most churches will accept donations online. So even if you haven't done it that way in the past, go to your church's website and figure out how to do that and continue to send in your tithes if you'd like. The Women's Home also has a ways you can donate online. We're linking you to their Amazon wish list on their website. It's filled with items that they need for clients that they're supporting but that they cannot afford. You're going to find that information right now on click2houston.com in the consumer. Consumer section. I'm consumer expert Amy Davis, KPRC Channel 2 News.